Good morning, everybody. Today is Saturday, January 11th, 2020. 2020. <laughs> uh, we are in week number 58. As you know, we kind of skipped our update. Yeah, can I skip our update? Update. I said update. I was talking about lip-dick. Lip-dick. <laughs> that guy from Home Depot. Okay. It's just a video on TikTok <laughs> that Stacy was laughing at. Little girl with some lipstick that she put on all over her face. And she said she asked herself and she got it from Home Depot. <laughs> Yep. Very cute. Anyway, we kind of skipped week number 57 as Bill was in the hospital. Yeah, I was there for eight days. I've had a lot of, uh, I've had a lot of stuff going on the last couple months. Uh, in and out of the hospital, in and out of the doctors. Um, basically, I've been fighting some infections internally. Uh, a couple of my organs were starting to shut down. And I had to do like a IV port thing of antibiotics in the hospital for eight days and then I still have to do it at home here for a while longer too. Um, but I am feeling somewhat better, um, just really weak. <laughs> I can get through about 15, 20 minutes or something and then I got to sit down. I just have to regain my strength and stuff. But uh, all these medicines kick my butt. <laughs> they are. He has a systemic inflammatory response syndrome which is pretty severe um, caused from a bacteria infection. So and I guess it made things swell and get irritated and all, the entire body and all uh, infected. And then for one thing, it would infect the next thing and then infect. So they couldn't even find the origins at, at a certain point, but they were checking, gosh, everything from EKGs to CAT scans to uh, heart scans, heart scans to echo scans, scans. Um, contrast scans, x-rays, a billion blood work tests, some fat files, some little files. At, at any time I was doing... 12 blood tests about Yeah. every time they turn around. I got nothing left on my arms for them to poke into. I've changed IVs multiple times and they started looking at other places they could draw blood from and I was like, all right, I'm done. I'm done with this. But you got to do what you got to do. Yep. So that's Alrighty. that. So now, Bill? while I was in the hospital, they would give me a menu and it was unfortunately, it was kind of funny. It was a diabetic menu and... uh it would have things like rice, potatoes, french fries, cookies, brownies, apple pastries, juice. apple juice, orange juice. And um, they were like, oh, how come you're not eating? You need to be eating more. I was just saying, give me some scrambled eggs and some black coffee. Give me a uh, hamburger without the bun and none of the extras on top. So I'd just eat the patty with the cheese on it and things like that. And uh, kind of got yelled at for not eating all of my foods. But um, I felt that it was fine, and I was even carb managing it. So, you know, there were days where I had like three carbs and uh, averaged about 1,500 calories, give or take some days less because the food wasn't very good. <laughs> but, you know, I, just, I still stayed keto in the hospital, even though they didn't want me to and kept trying to give me other drunk. Yeah. Didn't want it. Now, he was in for New Year's. So Julie and I spent the night did, on New Year's Eve. When did I go in? It was just... December it was 28th. 28th. So it was right after our update. Uh, yeah. Our update was Saturday the 27th, right? Somewhere like that. Yeah. yeah. And then like the next day, Sunday, I was feeling yeah, so Sunday. bad. I was feeling so bad I couldn't even get out of bed. And Stacey's like, well, you could still walk. We got to get you in before I got to call an ambulance. So yeah. And then they admitted me and hooked me up to a million machines. <laughs> yes, sir. Yeah, but here we are, and we're back. We're back. And hopefully this IV at home and the rest of those antibiotics, and then I follow up in a week at the hospital again and do more blood work. Mm -hmm. Hopefully it's all out of me and things are functioning again. My kidney's working. <laughs> My yeah. liver's working, things like that. <laughs> That's the hope. And this was not brought on by keto, by the way. So <laughs> just want to throw that out there because I'm sure it'll come up. <laughs> was not. Nope. Stuff I've been fighting well before keto or any of this other stuff. And this particular was caused by a bacteria infection. So yeah, that spread that I wasn't aware of. I just thought I had the flu or a cold and then my back was killing me. My stomach was hurting. I just felt lousy for the last three, four weeks and it progressively got worse and worse to the point where I was like, gosh, I must have the flu or something. And they did check for that multiple times at the hospital. Yeah. You know, they, I don't think there was a test that they could do that they didn't do at the hospital, right. including checking my heart out 
upside down and all around because it was because my heart rate was like 140. You know, mm-hmm. I couldn't I couldn't even control my heart rate. I was, that was sitting there resting, doing nothing. Yeah, I was just sitting there in the bed, and my heart rate would be like 140. So they're they're like, you know, we gotta check you out. <laughs> but thankfully, they were really good, really helpful. Got all my meds in me. I'm still taking meds, <laughs> and I'm hoping to get my strength back because <laughs> I just got nothing. I cleaned the kitchen for 15 minutes, and I gotta sit down for another 15 minutes and just. Actually, I've even dozed a few times. I, I can't. I just can't keep my strength up. But they told me that's normal after an eight-day stay, and that it will get better each day. So it will. It's gonna crossing my fingers and hoping for it. And he's home sleeping with me, so yeah, he's that sleeping helps better. Too. I'm sleeping better. <laughs> in the hospital, you don't sleep at all. Oh my gosh, no! Every fifteen minutes, somebody's in there for something. Poke you, check you, do something. Exactly. Yep. So. We are into, like they said, week 58, and it is January 11th, 2020. We did skip our, um, which was our kind of our monthly one where we do the measurements and the pictures and stuff. Apologize for that, guys. Just been really wiped. And, uh, it would hoping... have been his birthday. Yeah, it would have been my birthday, too. I spent it in the hospital. Just like New Year's, spent it in the hospital. I spent it with him. Yeah, she came up. Julia came up. We even played a game or two. It was fun. Yeah. As fun as it could be. Well, We're yeah. We, we made the best of it. <laughs> yeah. And they just stayed over. I didn't want them driving home at 1 or 2 in the morning and being on the road with all the idiots. So they just stayed at the hospital. They were very nice. and said, here's some pillows. Here's some blankets. Mm-hmm. Stay up here on the couch and in the chair and all that. So they did. Nice. It was. So... so- Bill, on December 28th, before he went into the hospital, was 337. Last year, long time ago. <laughs> he was 337.8, <clears throat> and this morning he weighed in at 326.2. That's 11.6 pounds. Yeah. Um, gosh, my body was way up when I got back from the hospital because I had been pumped with saline for eight days straight. There was not a moment that that bag would empty and they would just come swap it out. I was really nervous. I had no idea where I was going to be, but I knew a lot of it was water, too. So they flushed me good. <laughs> they were trying to get the medicines working and pushing through me. Yeah. And, uh, yeah, and this morning I ended up, what, 326.2. Mm-hmm. So that's quite a bit down. Um, I don't even know what that amount is, but 11. it's a lot. 11.6 pounds. 11.6 pounds. Mm-hmm. Wow. In two weeks, In two basically. Weeks, yeah. Yeah. So I guess that's all it takes is going into the hospital. <laughs> It's not the way we went this week. <laughs> no, we're still continuing the keto journey, though, and just keeping it simple. And, you know, I've made a million adjustments. I've tried a lot of suggestions, and I'm just sticking with, you know, my regular old keto plan. Right, wrong, or otherwise, I'll just keep updating it every Saturday and keep trying to tweak until I see some movements. Mm-hmm. So, oh, I did order a new scale on Amazon. We're going to get that in the next few days, probably oh. Monday or Tuesday. Didn't know that. I'm I'm such a dork. Our, our scale is probably as old as when we got married 25 years ago, if not longer. It's time. Our, our scale is acting up. Uh, my daughter goes in, constantly pushes buttons. Stacy keeps her weight from last week and then can put her weight in for this week to compare and stuff. Um, and somebody weighed something that was 13.2 pounds. <laughs> Certainly not me. <laughs> so something weighed 13.2. My children have a tendency to play with the scale a lot. And uh, this other one's a smart scale, so when you get up to it, it'll if you jump on, and me being in the 320s, it'll know it's me. If she jumps on at 130, she'll know it's her. The scale will know it's her. Supposedly, it does everything else like body fat and other things, too. So I'm real excited to just try it. So I ordered one up just to try. I love when I find out what he orders when we're on camera. Sure. <laughs> it's like 20 bucks. <laughs> Worth it. Worth it. All righty. So two weeks ago, I weighed in at 133.6. I am entering Shark Week. Dun, dun, dun. <laughs> so I'm a little bit bloated. Um, I weighed in this morning at 135.4. Um, and you're always up or down a pound right yeah, around this week. Yeah, I can weight. feel it. My rings are not wanting to move. <laughs> I remember that at the hospital. She couldn't get her rings off that day. <laughs> that was a couple of days ago. Yeah. So, but that's okay. <clears throat> We're um, usually within just a few pounds of each other. You're so, pretty much where you want to be, aren't you? I think a little bit lower, but, you know, at this point, I'm comfortable where I'm at, but I wouldn't still, be upset if I lost a few more now pounds. Now, Stacy doesn't track, and I always get on her about it, but but she's kind of got her little meals that she does 
down to, she knows what she's eating mm-hmm. um do you feel like tracking would help you at all into the new year no not really again no because i eat the same things yeah you do i do too I, i'm a i'm yeah i'll wake up i have coffee and three eggs scrambled with a little bit of bacon or something i have to say though ham, i think with bacon. me i probably don't need eat as much fats yeah but you know, I'm I'm pretty basic well, with what I'm your eating. Your almonds and your cheese. Yeah, the almonds and the cheese and yeah, egg salad. Egg salads. And that's got mayo on it too, doesn't it? Mm-hmm. Yeah. So those things help. Yeah. And she'll eat some eggs with me. Yeah. Eggs are good. I've gotten quite well at making an omelet. Oh yeah, but I only put cheese in mine. <laughs> that's okay. Cheese omelet's good. It is. So, um, I do apologize for last week, and, and I know a lot of people were sending us messages and through Facebook and whatnot. Um, just, boy, life really whacked me good that, that week. Mm-hmm. We Actually appreciate for, all the prayers and thoughts and good yeah. vibes sent our way. It certainly helped. Yeah, for, I'd say, almost the last month, I've just been quietly just feeling bad and... Uh, didn't, I dismissed it. I just figured, well, my back's hurting, my stomach's hurting a little. You know, maybe I ate something that didn't agree with me and couldn't figure it out. Mm-hmm. I even thought maybe it was a supplement like a magnesium or a B complex or something was not agreeing with my stomach. Well, it ended up that everything was swollen and inflamed and, and my sugars were going up and I couldn't figure it out. I am not eating sugar. Folks, I'm not eating sugar. I'm getting messages stop eating the sugar and you'll be doing better. No, I'm not eating sugar. In fact, my carbs are really low too. And that's total carbs, not just net carb gain crap. But anyway, I couldn't figure out why my sugars were going up. And uh, apparently it's a lot to do with the pain and the infection of what's going on and being diabetic. You start throwing those in the bowl and mix them up and you got high sugars and feeling really lousy. And that's kind of where I was at. I just wasn't smart enough to realize Hey, yeah. maybe I should go get checked out. <laughs> I made him go. Until until she said, Look, I I'm gonna have to call an ambulance if you can't get out of bed and walk with me to get to the doctor. And we actually went to the urgent clinic first, thinking mm. it's just something simple, the flu or something. Yeah, that's and what I thought. When thought we I got the there, the doctor says, Oh no, you're what going, ER you're going to? You're going to the ER right now. Yeah, they were even like, We're not gonna take your money, you're just going to the ER. Yeah. But as I sat there, they did check me for um, the flu, the mm-hmm. little thing up the nose. And they're like, let's do a couple little basic things. So, But uh, he's like, yeah, this is way too complicated. And you are definitely in need of an ER. Something is wrong. You're going right to it. It's not an option. Especially when they would like listen to my heart. And they're like, uh, 146 is your resting heart rate. And you're going now. <laughs> So, and that is that way forever because I got the Fitbit and I'm always watching. I generally range about 75 to 80 for a heart rate. Resting. My heart rate was uh, 130s to one, almost 150s for days. I mean, I was just wore out. That's why they were checking my heart. Like, uh, do an EKG? Are you having heart problems? Echo, yeah. echocardiogram, whatever, scopes and CAT scan contrasts and all these weird things they did. But everything checked out except for a ton of infections in me that was starting to spread through all my organs. So we got that hopefully under control. Mm-hmm. I'll know in a week because when this is all done, I got to go back again. And they're going to do a slew of blood test to make sure everything is done. Yeah. So I'll know then. But hopefully, as the week goes on, I'll feel better. I'll have more strength. We'll continue our keto journey. And uh, hopefully I can retain this uh, 326 or lower, you know, and just... Keep moving forward in 2020. That's the hope. That's the plan. It is. It's a new year. It's a new year. New day. Let's see if we can make more strides and gains. Absolutely. Or losses, Losses. I should say. (laughs) Not gains. Losses. Yeah, gains in other ways. (laughs) Absolutely. (laughs) All right, guys. So we are back. Um, Things are a little bit crazy uh, with all this medical junk going on for me. Uh, Stacy's still working two jobs. Remember back in October when she said, oh, I'm going to leave one and then it's going to get so much better. I'll have two days off. Yeah, that hasn't happened. She doesn't take a day off. And uh, I never see her. So she's about to go to work. I'm about to go upstairs and hook up to an IV and get some more junk in my arm. And, uh, well, that doesn't sound good. Antibiotic in my arm. <laughs> and, uh, <laughs> yeah, that didn't sound good at all. I must look like a drug user because everywhere that you can hit a vein, they've hit pulling, dro- pulling more yeah. blood. 
on the outsides, the insides, the middles of everywhere is, is bruised and sore and tender. Not looking forward to going back again, but I got to get the blood test done. Yeah, absolutely. But we will see you next week, Saturday. And uh, I got to teach Stacy how to just jump on and do a video because I told her, I said, hey, just jump on there real quick on Saturday and say, hey, here's what's going on. And she couldn't figure it out. So I just did it from the hospital bed <laughs> on my own. So we got to get Stacy technically up to, to date. What happens if something happens to me and you can't, and you can't do updates? It's super easy. Anyway. Yeah, I don't know. I don't expect her to do iMovie and edit it. I'm just talking <laughs> about using the phone, click, record, upload. Type in the... You don't even have to do a thumbnail. <laughs> just type in the description and send it off. Anyway. Anyway. All right, guys. <laughs> have a great day. Uh, we are going to get out of here. Go do my IV. She's going to go to work. And uh, hope everybody's doing well on their keto journey. If you're new, if you're old, if you're somewhere in the middle, uh, we're old. I'm old. I feel really old. 52 now. January 4th was my birthday. So now I'm 52. And uh, still sticking with it. Absolutely. Thanks for watching. Have a great day, guys. Bye. Bye.